This video is how to answer the tutorial questions on vectors. So question 1a. Given vector a which is equal to 5i plus 6j minus 7k, find the modulus of a. So the instructions here in the window say type the equation. So the first thing we do is to say the mod of a is equal to the square root of ax squared plus ay squared plus az squared. Close the bracket and are we right so far? Yes we are. Okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to put these numbers into a calculator. So we're going to say that this is equal to the square root of and obviously we can square these numbers in our head but I'll put them in longhand just so you can see where everything comes from. So it's going to be 5x squared plus 6x squared plus 7x squared. That equals 10.49 to two decimal places. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say shift store A. So I've put that answer into memory location A because I'm going to need it for the rest of this question. So let's put that in here. We said that that was equal to 10.49. So am I right? Yes, I am. Okay, so question 1b, it says find the direction cosine L. Well, and again, it needs to see the equation first. So L is equal to, and it's A x divided by mod a. That's the equation we're going to use and am I right? Yes I am so far and now what I need to do is to divide 5 by the modulus. So let's clear that and we're going to say 5 divided by and this time I'm going to say recall a because that is the modulus and the answer to that is 0.48 to two decimal places. So that equals 0.48 for eight to do to two decimal places. Am I right? Yes, I am. Question 1c and question 1d are the same, except you use um, ay for 1c and az for 1d. Right, let's have a look at question two. You're given two vectors, a and b, and we're going to have to find a plus b and so on. The question says, give the equation. So what we want to know is a plus b is equal to ax plus bx times i plus ay plus by times j plus az plus bz times k. Am I right so far? Yes I am. Okay and we can do these calculations in our head so a plus b is equal to We've got minus 7i minus 3i, so that's going to be minus 10i. And we've got 2j minus 6j, so that's going to be minus 4j. And then we've got minus 5k plus 6k, so that's just going to be plus k. And am I right? Yes, I am. Now, question 2b is similar to question 2a, except you subtract rather than add. Question to C we've got a dot b this is the vector dot product so we first of all give the equation so a dot b is equal to and this is going to be ax times bx plus ay times by plus az times bz am I right so far yes I am so now we can uh, do do this, and again we can do this in our heads, can't we? So we've got minus seven times minus three is plus 21. Two times minus six is minus 12. Um, plus 21 minus 12 is going to give us nine. And then we've got minus five times plus six, which is going to be minus 30. Minus 30 plus nine is going to give us minus 21. So the answer should be minus 21. And are we right? Yes we are. Question 2d is the vector cross product and to do that we need to have a determinant. So we're going to say a times b. Notice I put a, an asterisk in, not, not an x sign like that. I know that looks the same but 
any software would interpret the X as a variable, not as an operator. So you need to put in the, the time sign like that. So you type det to say it's a determinant, and then we want I, comma, J, comma, K. And then you want a semicolon to say we're now going on to the next line. We have minus 7, comma, 2, comma, minus 5, semicolon, because we're on to the next line. And then we've got minus 3, comma, minus 6, comma, 6, close the bracket. And am I right so far? Yes, we are. Just to check that this determinant is correct, we can click on the syntax button. And there's our determinant. And that looks OK, so I'm comfortable with that. And just so you know the, what the calculation is going to be, remember you've got a plus minus plus across the top row. So we're going to get i times, so it's going to be 2 times 6, which is 12, minus minus 5 times minus 6, which is going to be minus 30. So that's going to give us minus 18. Then we do the j column. And remember, this is minus the j column. So it's going to be minus 7 times 6, which is minus 42. And then it's going to be minus minus 5 times minus 3. So minus 5 times minus 3 is plus 15. But then there's a minus, so that becomes minus. So the whole of that is 57. And then for the k column, we've got minus 7 times minus 6, which is plus 42. And then we're going to subtract 2 times minus 3, which is minus 6. So 42 minus minus 6 gives us 48. So if we put that into the answer here, we're going to get that a times b is equal to minus 18i plus 57j plus 48k. Are we right? Yes, we are. Um, 2e is the same as 2d, except we're swapping a and b around. Um, so the process is the same, but the numbers are in different places. Right, the final question, question three, is a, is a bit of a sneaky question. And this is actually rather like what you might find on an exam, because it just says find the angle between these two vectors. But to do that, you've got to take all these steps. Let me just drag that down a bit so we can see all the steps. So we've got to find the equation for mod A and then calculate mod A, find the equation for mod B, calculate mod B, and then find the equation for the vector dot product a dot b so we'll start with mod a so just for speed i'm going to copy mod a from here so mod a is equal to that am i right so far yes i am and what's that going to be equal to so let's get our calculator and we're going to do um, the square root 4 squared is 16 plus minus 4 squared is 16, plus 2 squared is 4, equals, so that is equal to 6. Are we right so far? Yes, we are. Now we need mod b. So I'm just going to copy this line and change all the a's to b's. get the calculator. That number's easy, so I won't bother putting that into memory. So we're now going to get the square root of 7 squared is 49, plus 3 squared is 9, plus 5 squared is 25, and that's equal to the square root of 83, which is 9.11. I am going to save that, so shift store A. So that is equal to 9.11. And are we right so far? Yes, we are. Now, if you can't remember this, the next step to take, what you can do is you can block mark everything, type Control X to delete it. We've done mod A, we've done mod B, so now we need the equation for A dot B. And then Control V, we just put it all back again. So what we need now is A dot B. A dot B is going to equal and actually, we've typed that up here as well, haven't we? A dot B, there we go. So I'll just take all of that, control C, and paste that in here. And are we right so far? Yes, we are. And we can do this in our head. So that is going to equal 4 times 
4 times minus 7 is minus 28. Minus 4 times 3 is minus 12, so that's going to be minus 40. And 2 times minus 5 is minus 10, so that's going to be minus 50. Are we right? Yes, we are. So now we can calculate theta. So we need to do the arc cos of a times b, which was minus 50, minus 50, divided by a bracket containing mod a, which was 6, times mod b, which we put into memory, so that's memory 0, then close the bracket for the denominator, close the bracket for the cosine, and say equals, and we get a value of 156. And just look here, I'm in degrees here, so if I put that answer in, so that is equal to 156.16. Am I right? It says I've not put any units in. Now we did know that this is in degrees, so we use deg for degrees or rad for radians. Am I right now? Yes, I am. That's an example of how to answer each of the questions on the vector tutorials.